In today's video, I'll show you how you'd be able to use cycles in linear for sprint planning. So let's get started. So if you don't know what cycle is, cycles in linear are like sprints, like short, repeatable timeframes, usually one to two weeks, where your team focuses on completing a set of tasks repeatedly or in cycle. But by default, it is not enabled here on linear. As you can see, we don't have the cycles in here anywhere on our team's buttons because we would need to enable that feature. So what we'd need to do is go here into the left menu, navigate into your teams, go into the team right here that you would like to enable the cycles in, click on the three dots right here on the right side, and click on team settings. And then next is that you would want to go here into these cycles right here at the bottom. As you can see, it says off. So you need to click on it and click on enable cycles. Now from here is that you have a bunch of settings. So first is that you have that each cycle lasts for two weeks. So this is the duration. Let's say that I would want this cycle to be every week. And then the cooldown after each cycle, you can go for no cooldown, but if you want, you can set some cooldowns right here, like one week. So basically this would be every other week right here. So with a deadline of one week. So basically after two weeks, it will start again. And next is that we have the cycles start on uh, um, when would you like the cycle to start. So if you don't want it today, then you can just select a specific time right here. And next is that we have the number of upcoming cycles to create. So you can go for one cycle, you can go for six, eight, 10, 12, depending on how many you'd need. And next is that we have the auto add issues to current cycle. So you can go for active issues. You can auto add it into your cycle if it's related. So as you can see in here, it says that I have 10 active issues outside cycles. Do you want to move them to backlog? So in my case, I'll just click here on move to backlog and see if I would see that there. And then you could also go for this one to start issues and completed issues if you'd want to auto add it into your current cycle. All right, now that we're done here, we can now go back into the app by clicking here in the top left. Now you'd be able to see that we now have the cycles um, button right here in the left menu. When you click on that, you'd now be able to see all of the cycles in here. So in here we have cycle two and cycle one. So from here, you can click on that cycle. And from here, you can create a new issue in this cycle. So let's say that I'm gonna go for cycle issue sample and then you can add a description and then you could also add this status the priority the assignee and then the project that this is related into and then some labels or tags and then you would be able to see the cycle in here and you can have more options like the due date add sub issue and many more so yeah you could also attach some file in here if needed and once you're done, click on create issue, and then you'd now be able to see that issue right here. And then we can now toggle the status into done if it's done or whatever it is. And then you could also click here to add an assignee and invite the team member and so on. And yeah, basically this is where you could see the stats right here. Three days to start, scope, upcoming, and so on. You could also go for the display if you'd want it to be uh, like in the board view and so on. So basically this is your filter in here. So that's it. And now let's go back in here. Now, if you would want to create more cycles, Linear will automatically generate a new cycle after the current one ends. You can view upcoming cycles and plan ahead by assigning issues to future cycles. So you should see that right here in upcoming. So yeah, this is the only one that we have because we have just enabled the cycle. However, there is also another option that you would be able to do by clicking here into the three dots again and go to team settings and go into cycles. And from here is that while you can't create a brand new cycle arbitrarily because the linear follows the schedule, you can still prep for the next one. So let's say that we would want to increase the number of upcoming cycles to create, let's say eight. And then uh, once we do that, we, we should, will now go back into the app and then go here and then you'd now be able to see that we now have eight right here and they are now scheduled um, uh, uh, per week with a one week cooldown, as you can see right there. So that's it on how you'd be able to use cycles here in linear. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.